Alright, it's been a little more than two weeks since the drop of Lil Baby's new album Wham, and it seems like there's two tracks in particular that have been really kicking it hard in the streams. And one of the two is the song Stop, featuring Travis Scott, produced by Weezy. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, Weezy's beats went crazy on this album. So in today's video, I wanna show you how to make hard beats for Lil Baby and Travis Scott in a full studio. And if you're ready, let's get into it. Yeah. So I'm gonna start by setting the tempo to 134 BPM. And as first element, I'm gonna look for a pan in Analog Lab. This one was actually fire, bro. All right, now I'm gonna write some chords. I'm gonna set the piano on the D minor scale and let's try making something out of it. Yeah, something like this. I'm actually gonna try playing a little bit with these notes over here. So I'm gonna put the first one over here and then the second one over here. All right, it's kind of weird, bro. I'm not gonna lie, but let's see where this goes. And I'm gonna copy the same notes. I'm gonna lower them by one seventh tone. This one here and then this other one. We're gonna put it over here. Alright, another thing that I'm gonna do is to actually put the halt sound. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Yeah, it's weird, bro. It's going crazy, though. Hold on tight. Now we're gonna duplicate this whole thing. And we're gonna lower down the notes. And we're not gonna fix the position of the notes that are sitting on the black spaces. Because that means that they're out of key and we don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna push this one up. And I'm also gonna bring these two up. And I'm gonna get rid of this piece over here. And I'm also gonna cut the tail of these two notes. And these two last bars, we're actually gonna lower them down by one semitone. So I'm gonna bring these two up as well. And also this note here. And this note here, I think I'm gonna put it over here. And I'm gonna put another one over here. And let's see how it sounds. It's cold. Yeah, it really gives me that Travis Scott kind of vibe, not gonna lie. All right, now I'm gonna render out this whole thing. All you need to do is to press this button over here and then press Option or Alt plus R. Now I wanna try flipping the sample that we just rendered out. So I'm gonna reverse it and let's see how it sounds. Alright, what I'm gonna do now is to actually chop the sample. So all I'm gonna do is to go over this tool over here and then go in on chop. And then if you go to time based and chopping bars, you're gonna be able to chop the sample on every bar without actually having it to do it every single time for every bar. And I'm gonna start repositioning the parts of the sample. I actually like the sequence of the parts that I've played, so let me see if I can replicate it. So I'm gonna drag this part here and this other one as well. Let's see how it sounds. And now we're gonna duplicate this part. And of course, remember to put the sample on generic blading. That's fire. And now I'm gonna take some of the parts over here. fire all right let's secure the sound a little bit and a high cut as well all right let's look for another sound This one's fire i found this song here on analog lab which is called arc and it's gonna sound cold bro so what I'm gonna do is to copy the same piano that we have on the first sound and we're gonna paste it onto this sound here. It's cold. Damn. It's fire. Bro, these are all stock plugins from Analog Lab. I'm not even using any weird bank or something like that. They are crazy. And now with Shaper Box, we're gonna give it the half time effect and let's see how it sounds fire it gives a certain vibra down now let's see how it sounds with the chop sample it's fire bro let's go let's go all right man since we're already going crazy with analog lab i feel like it's only right to keep on going so yeah man let's look for another sound 
down. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, something like this. Now we're gonna duplicate this thing here. We're gonna lower it down by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Bro, you already know I got Travis Scott knocking at my door, like, going crazy, bro. And now we're here in Portal. I'm gonna use one of the presets in the J Cactus library. Ooh. This one's fire. Alright, to be honest, man, the model is so fire and it's still very simple. I now feel like I'm gonna add a base or anything like that. I'm talking about bro this one's fire Jeez. fire bro down yeah i feel like there's some weird frequencies going on over here and d you can also tell from the equalizer so i'm gonna get rid of those damn bro all right i actually feel like we're still missing on something so what i'm gonna try doing is to add another sound so what i'm gonna do is to actually use the same keys over here that are actually fire and i'm gonna duplicate them and we're gonna copy the first piano for the first sound and now we're gonna paste them onto the new analog lab mm -hmm. yes yeah, sir call man that bro that you see what i'm saying bro when i feel that something's missing bro you see what i mean I'm also gonna give it a little bit of delay. I'm gonna put the time on two. I'm gonna slightly reduce the output. Yeah. Alright, now we're gonna do the actual arrangement. So we're gonna duplicate the pattern. And I think we're gonna take out this pattern over here. And then on the last one again, we're gonna take out this one and this other one as well. And let's see how it sounds. Alright, this was the melody and now we're gonna get into the drums. So we're gonna keep the tempo at 134 BPM. Let's pick a clap as well. Then we're gonna go with this one. Yeah, man. And you already know we're gonna play around with this snare because, bro, we gotta give you that wheezy roll effect, that shit. Mm. We're also gonna play a little bit with the hi hat. Yeah, something like this, bro. Think we're gonna try another clap. Fire. Alright, I'm gonna put the 8 right now. 
This one's fire. Let's try it. All right, I'm gonna start by writing down a simple piano roll for the 808, and there we're actually gonna get into proper serious shit. You feel me? I think I'm gonna have a triple key five over here, so I'm gonna extend this note and I'm gonna set the piano on one third step and let's press Option or Alt plus U. Let's try putting some perks and effects. I feel like it's time to do the arrangement. We already have a lot of things going on, so chill, 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 chill. All right, we're gonna use this part of the melody as the intro. She's very quiet. Then we're gonna put all of the patterns over here. And then we're gonna duplicate the patterns. And I think we're gonna get rid of this crash over here because I feel like it is not necessary at the beginning of the first eight bars. Also the rim as well. And I think this box here, I'm gonna put it here instead of where it was before because I feel like it suits best. And by the end of this bar here, I'm gonna reduce the length of these bars because I wanna give it a, some sort of break and I only wanna keep the 808 going on. All right, bro, I'm gonna let you listen to the full thing. If you've enjoyed today's video, make sure you leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram at Savas. Bro, I genuinely hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial. Let me know what you think about it. And bro, hi, man. I'm gonna see you on the next end. Bye.